Hmm, interesting. Hello, how's it going? Today we're going to be looking at some Bushido. <laughs> First up, we have the peak of masculinity. The alpha of all alphas. Puny little beta males like us are not worthy to even speak his name. Which is handy because I can't pronounce it. Let me introduce you to the God of War. Now you understand the pure testosterone this man possesses. Look at what happens if you try touching his totally attractive girlfriend. Next, let's check out some raw feminine power. I think we can all agree that messing with this lady would be a grave mistake. George Dilmer. Anytime you would attack anybody from back to front, if you add that sound, you enhance the technique because it pulls the chi back to front through that person. Next, let's see how to disarm two attackers, one armed with a gun and one armed with a knife. He throws it down with such disdain and contempt, like he's tired of telling us idiots. It's so easy, just ask them what the time is, then take the gun and a knife, you fools! This is Next we have a famous Bollywood actor who is clearly skilled at movie violence but maybe not so skilled in real world violence. Be confident. Be bolder. Be aware. Because Vidyu Jambal is the only way to learn some of the self-defense of reliable, tested and easy techniques. What did you say? I said, okay, I'm going to work. I have money. Whoa. And get it out. I'm not a mother, I'm not a type. Whatever you are, whatever you are. So just be aware of what you can do with it. And take it out of his hands. If the man is strong also, he holds you. What do you do? Basically, she holds you and you get him down. Then, hit. Uh, yeah. All of these women are clearly there because they're lusting after this guy, and one of them takes the chance for a little penis rub. And then, it, uh, yeah. Next, we have someone else who is using martial arts as an excuse for sexual pleasure. <laughs> No one could ever accuse this next teacher of using martial arts as an excuse to touch another man's penis.
Next up, let's take a look at the Bollywood remake of The Matrix. <laughs> Next we have Silat. I know from previous videos that some of my Indonesian viewers get triggered by me daring to question Silat. So let's break this one down. Firstly, I'm still on the fence with Silat really. Some of it seems kind of useful. Some of it seems forced and manufactured, I guess. But let's just deal with this one clip. I'll be happy to talk about the details of Salat in the comments if you want to. So with this example, I'd be willing to bet that hitting someone's hand with your shoulder has never not once in the history of violence worked as shown in this video. Just pay attention to this in slow motion. You softly tap the guy's chest and this somehow stuns him so you can hold his arm and hit his hand with your shoulder. If your opponent's so stunned, why don't you just punch him in the face and keep punching him until the fight is over? But no, Instead, what we'll do is we'll just mildly cause him discomfort by tapping his hand with your shoulder. That'll teach him. Anyway, let's look at how they play The Floor is Lava in India. You know what, I'm not done with the Salat. I mean, just take a look at this. How can anyone in their right mind defend this? Why is the opponent just letting you hold his arm so that you can hit his hand with your forearm? I mean, just saying the words of what's happening makes it sound insane. Both of your arms are occupied so that you can hit his hand with your forearm. So you have no guard. Why doesn't your opponent just punch you in the face or pull his arm away? It makes no sense. Anyway, that's it now, I promise. Here's what you can achieve if you just believe. Get it off. Next up, we have people that think that they can move their whole bodies quicker than the opponent can move their trigger finger. Next up, we have the strongest schoolgirl that has ever existed, or the weakest grown men that have ever existed.
subscribe. If you like this video, then watch this one. Follow me on these things, like and subscribe, and remember to stay sane in this crazy world. Bye-bye.